Hi, and welcome to C Programming. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how the computer represents characters in C Programming. And we will use the ASCII table to do this. So let's quickly have a look at code blocks. So in code blocks, we have our main structure, and then we have an integer called x that is equal to 5. And then we will display this integer by using printf. And we will say x is equal to percentage d for decimal, new line. And x, the variable, will be displayed in the placeholder percentage d. So if we build and run this, we will see x is equal to 5. But now the question is, how do the computer know how the exact shape of a 5 looks like? Now, this is defined in a certain set table in the computer. So the computer knows that this value correlates to this sign, and that sign in this case is 5. We as humans interpret 5 as 5 by seeing the symbol, but the computer sees it as a number of 0 voltages and 5 voltages, or binary. The computer doesn't necessarily know that 5 is this given shape. Now, these shapes are defined in the ASCII table, so let's quickly have a look at the ASCII table. So we will open the ASCII table. Now, as you can see, the ASCII table has decimal, hex, of hex and char values. Now, the char values is what we as humans want to see. And the decimal values is what's the number that's connected to that specific character. So if we go through this, we will see here at decimal 48, that the character 0 is displayed. So in actual fact, the decimal value 48 correlates on the ASCII table to the character 0. And then it goes up to 57 for 9. And then we go on to 65 for capital letter A. Capital letter A is very different from small letter A, lower case A. So all the capital letters are from 65 up until 90, and then the lowercase letters starts at 97. So let's go and test this theory in code blocks. So we are printing out a decimal value. So the compiler, with using the standard input and output library, knows that when we output an integer and by using percentage d we will convert it automatically to character but let's go and do the following print f print f percentage x is equal to percentage c for character New line, comma, x. Now we can display the value of x by using character format. So let's see what happens. So I'm going to save this, and I'm going to build and run. Ah, so we see that x is equal to nothing. Okay, so let's go and test the theory of the ASCII table. So I'm going to take away the percentage D printf and I'm going to say 48. So I'm going to print out the character value that correlates to the decimal value 48. And we build and run. And you see x is equal to 0. So, let's continue. If we look at the 
as the table again, capital letter A is 65. So let's try 65. 65. We build and run. And we can see X is equal to A. And lastly, we can test it for lowercase letter A. We build and run. And we can see that X is lowercase a. Now this is a very, very important principle to take note of. Because when we are displaying integer or character values, we need to understand how the computer actually represents these characters. And for the same, by receiving input, by using a scanf statement, if we don't define exactly what we're going to input, our computer may not read in the value that we actually want. In some cases, if we do it incorrectly, we may end up with the ASCII value for, let's say, for instance, 0. And we actually want it 0, not 48. So that's all from me. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.